hi guys today we are going to see how to create the uh, flare effect flare effect in illustrator for the beginners so i have posted many tutorial uh, for the beginners if you are a beginner just follow my and subscribe my channel uh, it's useful for you learning the beginners bro uh, editing uh, tools and sticks tricks and tips so just go to the video now uh first you need to take the circle tool you can see here circle i draw it and take it duplicate just uh, hold the alt and drag it out it, it can create a duplicate and size big align it uh, just color it um, as well uh, just a one color is not a perfect for creating a furrow so just you create a double color or multiple as for the gradient just using a gradient so if you not uh, so anywhere in the gradient uh, panel here in workplace just to go to the window and here you can see the gradient the shortcut for the gradient is control f9 just click it out uh, just and apply this first it's a basic color and the white and black uh, just first you need to uh, remove the store colors remove it and just select the first circle the color select this node and the color what if you create the gradient it's up for the tips for you if you create the gradient that's the first color I mean just one color is a dark and one color is a light color it's a better combination for your all the color combinations just first one is a light color and second one will be a bit of darkness don't do the too much little bit dark okay same as well as select this colors here too so just select this and take the eye dropper tool and so click it it's automatically pick the color from that which you clicked it so just select this both and click go to the bend tool it's a shortcut for the w and click it and click the first object and as well the second one it's automatically create a blend so you now you create the bend first uh, but you need to create uh, one more path for you create the blend spin so just uh, first take the rectangle circle tool again and hold the shift and control and draw it create a perfect circle and you need to switch the color you need to do, doesn't need the fill color just need a stroke so shift x is automatically removed it from so just take the duplicate of the circle and and align as well as that circle it's a 8 align it and take the direct selection to it's a shortcut is a and remove this both for creating yes so select the b so you can see this both node is doesn't join it so just select this both node and right click it and click right click it you can see the join just click it it's automatically join but this is not a smooth so you need to create some you need to make it a smooth this path so go to the 
I tool menu you can see is a smooth tool you can see the animation in the panel view is automatically create the uh, sharp edges to smooth edges so select this tool and draw it just to draw it you can see it's automatically remove the sharp edges to bevel the smooth edges so now it's okay cool now okay fine now you can select this uh, path now you can select the path and as well as the uh, you can already create the blend spin i select create it i should not a blend option so select the all and go to the object and the bend and replace pin it's automatically create the shapes as per you were given in the path work now but it's not a make a perfect so go to the bend a double click it you can see here the option so the step will be here in the four just four so just create the just increase the values um, 70 it's okay now now it's created but you need to make it in one more step to make it up uh, for effect so select this and go to the effect you can see the distort and uh, distort and transform it so go to this and get the rough again rough and so select it you can see the options size details points it it's a corner you need a corner to make a fur because of the, the fur is not a smooth one if you click the smooth the edges will be smooth short i mean make it a sharp is create uh, click the corner and the size of the fur if you create a size it can make it large edges you can see here but you doesn't need too much 50 and details you make it some smoothness you can see um, 50 55 it's okay now the size will be 20 okay now cool click okay you can you can see the fur effect is creating but it's too close i'll close it so just adjust the circle created and just adjust the circle you can make it a small or big it automatically adjust the circle so you can create a shape of the path i mean shape of the design you can make it difference it too stingy <laughs> just suggest it to build big okay cool now the fire effect is ready as well as you can make it a sorry of a letters or shapes or design some more else and uh, 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 what kind of you make it the path and blend this with the uh, blend spec blend spin if you make it is reverse it's automatically make it ba back and front um, so it's cool it's a very better option to make a for effect just you can uh, if you doesn't need this color i mean doesn't like it make it it's simple to change the uh, colors you can see here the option property panel you can create a uh, variety of the colors just click it the recolor and make it it sim simple you can create mm, you can you can see you can easily create the uh, color combinations as i select this before the way and the properties is can create a color combination different color mm. which one is better
Yeah, it's cool, Betty. Uh, it's rosy. <laughs> it's not uh, my favorite. Yeah, it's cool now. I think it's <laughs> okay. Cool. It's better. As well, you can make make it, it double colors. Create it different colors. Get it. Make it this simple. You can see it created many colors like this. I hope you guys you like this video and make it it's useful for your growth in your career. I so don't forget to subscribe my channel for more tips and tricks. So have a nice day guys. Bye.